The heart of Bangkok, Thailand, braced for an inundation of floodwaters today. The prime minister acknowledged the dikes around the city may not hold. John Sparks of Independent Television News reports from Bangkok. The scourge of the countryside has entered the city and rolled right up to the palace gates. Floodwaters from the north have furthered their advance, and nothing and no one is sacred. The city's sophisticated residents got their feet wet this morning. An unpleasant surprise from an unwelcome guest. It came up really fast. It was dry early this morning. Now the whole street is flooded. 23 of Bangkok's 50 districts have now succumbed to the waters. Their streets filled with waders and improvised rafts and army trucks packed with evacuees. 50,000 troops have been moved into the city. But Thailand's army chief told us it's not enough. Many people are suffering and we're doing what we can. But the most important thing to say is that the people will have to be patient. She says she's doing her best. The country's inexperienced prime minister, Yinglak Shinawat, conferring with advisers this morning. Later, she appeared shaken and close to tears. A reporter asked, are you crying? She denied it. No, I haven't cried at all, she replied. Today marked the first of a five-day special holiday here. This an opportunity to escape. The government has urged residents to leave the city. They can't depart from Bangkok's second airport, however. Don Muang International has been flooded out. Unless you've got access to a large truck, you won't get through the front entrance. And I can tell you that the runways aren't much better either. In Terminal 3, well, that's where the government has its emergency response center. In retrospect, not the best place to put it. Members of various government ministries now dealing with the crisis are having trouble getting here. This a practical problem and a psychological blow. And what about foreign nationals, tourists? What does the Thai government suggest they do? For the, the tourists, uh, I might suggest that Thailand is the, the still be the good destinations, but not in Bangkok right now. So go to the beach. Please. Or uphill. <laughs> All roads leading uphill today were jammed. Those with the means were getting out. At the city's bus stations, passengers queued in the blistering heat. And at Hua Lampong Station, the concourse was packed. Even the monks had to shove over. Up until really about an hour ago, we were fine and, you know, just walking around the streets and then all yeah, of a sudden... We saw some, real, of, the we saw some of the flooding and I think that's what made us nervous. You thought, right, we're getting out of here. Exactly. Yeah. It's probably a wise decision. The situation is now critical, say officials, with more water and high tides expected this weekend. The floods have killed nearly 400 people and displaced more than 100,000 others. It's the heaviest flooding in Thailand in more than half a century.